All sorts of new releases this time. Oh, got that one about the kids who die of a candy factory. <laughs> I've sold most of these before. So? Sell them again. New customers to make. I haven't been getting new customers. Something's missing here. What? What missing? You want to tell me? Well, I gotta be honest, I'm drawing a blank here. I asked for sci-fi. Where is it? I didn't see any sci-fi. Well, hey, I've been busy. <laughs> you check out that new flick with the dead kids? My customers want sci-fi. We're in the middle of a sci-fi boom. Star Wars, Star Trek, Alien, that's what people want to see. All right, I'll make a note for next time. Well, you should have brought them this time. But I'll take the set. Well, anything else I can get for you? I don't think so. Are you sure? I got a nice box of classics right here. Not this time. All right, 60 for that. 60 now? You're just gonna keep upping it every week? Well, come on, times are tough. Times are tough for me, too. I'm not paying 60, I'm paying 40, like these are worth. Hey, nobody messes with Papa Squid's prices. Look, you want this stock or you want to go broke this time around? All right, take this. It's all I've got. You pay me a full next time, Ringo. You're bringing me sci-fi next time, you cheap skank. Got some new tips to preview. You busy? I'm on my lunch break. Well, hurry up and finish your lunch. I got the one about the kids at the candy factory. Is that sci-fi? Uh, maybe. I, I don't know. I couldn't get much this time. I'll have a look through it. How's business? Stocks are down. You know, that doesn't really affect you, right? I like to read the newspaper, okay? How about my discs? You find anyone interested in those yet? Ah. No, not yet, but I'm looking. I gotta be able to eat. All right, yeah, come on, tapes to look at. <sighs> Hugh, uh, we gotta go. Lunch break's not over. Hey! What? Come on! Well, I, I tried to fix it, but uh, I've been busy selling. Uh, I'll, I'll let you know when it's done. I'll, I'll get it fixed by this week, for sure. Jackie wants to kill me. I, I promise, I'll get it done. Probably get it done faster if you brought me some sci-fi. Papa Squid's an unreliable swindler now. Really? You gotta get yourself a new supplier. There are no other suppliers. If he keeps raising his prices, we're gonna have a serious problem. It's not my fault. This is really disappointing. I'm trying. There will be more next week, I promise. You know that for sure? No. I'm trying, though. Here, put this one in. It's five in the morning. It's nine. What made you think it was five in the morning? I don't know. Can I guess you something? I'm looking for a movie called The Humanoid. Huh. I've never heard of that one. I can take a look for you. No, it's okay. I'll just look through them. I haven't seen you before. My name's B. You're Ringo. My friend sent me here. She said you have good stock. Who's your friend? Christy. I haven't seen Christy in a while. She says she's been buying the new Betamax tapes. Oh, those? Oh, no. Those aren't going to go anywhere. I'm a VHS type girl myself. Do you know this movie? That's Gregory Peck, and that's, uh, Devil. So that's a good movie. You see anything else you like? I think so. That'll be five dollars? 
Oh, I heard they were a dollar each. Oh, well, uh, times are tough. Okay, well, I don't have five dollars. Can I just rent these? <sighs> yeah, yeah, no, that's, that's fine. Okay, uh, bring these back. Next time I'm in the neighborhood, will I find you here? Well, I don't go very far, just around town. Well, I'll recognize the car. All right. So the humanoid, will you look for that? I can ask about it, but uh, yeah, I'll keep an eye out. That'd be great. Well, uh, have a good day. Thank you. I'm B, by the way. Yes. Okay. Bye. Hey, Youth Pastor Cummings! Hey, haven't seen you in a while. How you been? You can ask me why I haven't come by in a while? Well, the thought had crossed my mind. It's the same reason nobody else comes to see you. VHS is out. Betamax is the new hit. And it costs way more than it's worth. Hey, I'm getting them cheap. From who? Big Steve? He says the picture quality's twice as nice. Oh, come on! The slight increase in resolution isn't even noticeable! Sorry, Rungo. You update your gear to keep up with the times. Maybe I'll come back. Ringo! You know why I'm here. No, I don't know why you're here. I have been in this business for two years. I have run this town with my bare hands. I've sowed the dirt of this great earth, building a network of steady distributors and happy customers. You do not want to mess with me, Big Steve. I'm not messing with you, Ringo. Stuff the riffraff. Why don't you try to tell me what's going on, and I'll see if I can help. I'll tell you what's wrong. I've had a 60% drop in customers over the past two weeks. How would you measure that? Fingers. I've counted the number of sales I've had these past two weeks on one finger. One finger? One hand. I, two hands. The point is, I should have more than ten fingers worth of customers, but I don't because they're all flocking to you. Hey, business is business. Your business is a farce. That's a harsh accusation. Twice the quality. The Betamax format is superior in every way. It barely holds 60 minutes of video. Except for runtime. And cost. If my customers are willing to pay the price for higher quality, I'm not going to complain. It's not worth whatever you're charging. I only charge what the people will pay. Admit it, you're ripping them off. I'm going with the market. You're stuck in the past, friend. If you want to get ahead, you got to shift your flow. You shift your flow. I don't have to. I've got the latest and greatest. What are you going to do when JVC cancels the VHS? You're going to cry? And what are you going to do when Sony cancels the Betamax? They're leading in profits. I... Uh... Uh... To... Quit stealing my customers! Have a nice day! Shove it up your ass! He's stealing my customers. I'm not sure that's illegal. Well, it's not illegal. It's just a bastard thing to do. You should consider helping me sell my discs. No one wants to buy your floppy disks, Hugh. That's mean. That was a mean thing to say. I've been at this longer than Big Steve. I should have the upper hand. I should have tricks up my sleeve. But I don't. Well, you've got my place where you can... Come and preview tapes. Yeah, but it doesn't help me sell more. It just lets me make sure my tapes are okay before I sell them. And I wouldn't even have to do that if my dealer wasn't so damn shady. I devised a plan that may benefit both of us. What's that? You sell all your videos and help me expand my floppy business. I'm not gonna do that. Well, why are you still here? What do you mean, why? I'm drinking my coffee. No, I mean, why are you in this town? How did you end up in this shitty position? I feel like I'm being insulted. Why don't you just move to a new city? I couldn't possibly start a new business somewhere else when I've already got my reputation established here. And look where that's got you. Go! Go! Get down! We gotta take you to court! Ringo's a free man! Oh, no. no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Hey, get out of here! Ah. Get out of here right now! I ah. hate crimes! Ah. Come on! Quit eating my tapes! Thanks for these. I had a really great time. What? Oh. 
Uh, that's good. I'm glad. For you. That you had a good time. Can I help you? Have you found the humanoid? No, I'm sorry. I couldn't even find anyone who'd heard of that. Are you sure it's a real film? Well, not really. I'd only heard rumors. So it's possible it's not actually a real film? No, it's real. But you're not sure? Not really. Will that be all? Oh, uh, I was wondering if I could come along with you today, see some of the other spots you sell at. Well, that's not really... Uh, I'd really appreciate it. Just... the whole day? Yeah. Do you not... What do you do? I sell flowers. Have you ever gone up west side? Have I ever gone up the west side? There's a lot of drug users up there. I'm sure they'd love to buy some tapes. I've got a system I stick to. I sit on Court Street in the morning, and then in midday I travel through the center of town. That's when everyone's having lunch, and I sometimes stop by Hugh's spot. Who's Hugh? He's a loser. And then I go uptown. Wait, who's Hugh? He sells floppy disks. He used to work in an office, and then he got fired, so he stiffed a bunch of floppies, and now he sells them back alleys. How many did he take? I don't know, a lot. A hundred? I don't know, maybe a thousand. They just keep coming. They're all over his apartment. He never runs out. Probably because he hardly sells any. You sell a lot, though, don't you? Well, not floppy disks. No, but you sell a lot of tapes. Well, at least I used you. The Betamax thing is taking some of my business. Ah, uh, Betamax. Yeah, I don't want to talk about it. I bet you'd feel better if you talked about it. Bet I'd feel better if you weren't in the car. Oh man, am I bothering you? Yeah, that's okay because- OH SHIT! Are you trying to kill me so you can keep my VCR? I'm sorry! Where's my VCR? It's safe. It's good. It's good? I mean, it's not broken. Broken? That's precisely what it isn't. See, I've got loads of new tapes to go through, and uh, I need to hang on to it for just a little longer. It's always just a little longer. I'm gonna be an old, nasty, dying woman, and you'll be all, it's just a little longer. I'm sure there's a way to settle this. Yeah, have this skis just give me back my VCR. Ringo needs to hold on to it a little longer, but I'm sure he's willing to give you some free tapes as compensation for your part in helping his business. Uh, yeah, whatever films you want. <sighs> Got that one with the devil? Yeah, he does. I'll go get that. Of course, I don't have anything to watch it on at the moment. I promise, as soon as I'm done, you can have whatever tapes you want. For free! Uh, for a reduced price. You get that VCR back to me in one piece, video boy. You broke her VCR? Leave me alone about it. Hugh! I'm taking a dump. Hugh, I need this VCR now! It's not done. This is not okay! Who is this? I don't know! I'm B. I sell flowers. Jackie's irate. Well, uh, that's Jackie for you. She's especially irate. I nearly avoided death today. I'll get that fixed. I just need a little more time. A little more time? You always need more time. I'll be nasty and dead and you'll be a clock and... How did that go? Are these the appropriate tools for fixing a VCR? I am a very good repairman and I do not need you judging me. A hammer? Uh, there was a faulty turntable, got uh, jostled by the carburetor and uh, I had to recalibrate some of the nails. Are you just making up words? Of course not. Now, if you don't mind, I'm in the middle of taking a dump. You're not finished? Oh, God. My apartment! I broke a VCR, I'm losing customers, and Big Steve is crushing me in the competition. Well, let's be logical and solve the last problem first. Strike back at Big Steve. Do you even know who Big Steve is? Sure I do. No, but... If he's giving you trouble, you gotta give him some trouble. I've gotta give him some trouble? That's the spirit. When life beats you up, just roll with the punches. Roll with the punches? Stop, drop, and roll. No, that's... Get tested monthly. Are you ready? I was born ready. I was born via C-section. You can't do 
that. Business is business. Big Steve, 1980. Hey, don't buy that. It's VHS. The quality is bad. At these prices, who cares? I'll take all of these. No, everybody stop. You're a newcomer to this business, Big Steve. I've been in it for two years. Yes, you've told me this. Why do they call you Big Steve anyway? Is it because your ego is so big you can't even see past your poor business strategy? You're bad at it. Yeah, that was poorly constructed. But look at all this money I'm making! I've been looking for these tapes for years, and I finally found them at an affordable price! Thank you, Ringo! You're welcome, Candace. You'll see. You'll all see when Sony gets a hold of a market. Except they're not going to! Look at these prices! Relish this victory while you can. I eat my hot dogs raw with mayonnaise and the blood of my competitors. You think you've got tough balls. Maybe you do, but it doesn't change the fact that you're a filthy rat mouse with the rest of your homeless buddies. I've got tougher balls than you. Yeah. I've got my business. I've got my new assistant raking in the dough. I've got my buddy's crib where I can preview my tapes. And what have you got? You've got this fancy car, huh? Like to show it off, huh? I sleep in mine. I go days without showering. Weeks without food. I live off the land and I thrive. You live off of the dirt left over and choke on it. What could you possibly have to be smiling about? Well, I was just thinking. You live in that piece of trash, don't you? It would be a shame if something happens to it. Your business would be ruined, wouldn't it? Don't even joke about that. You've got all your eggs in one basket. If you piss someone off, you know the first thing they do? Come for your basket. Ooh! Ringo! Terribly annoying person after all. Wow, that was pretty backhanded. Does it at least look cool? It's a really good size battle star. You think that'll deter customers? No. I still gotta get that VCR fixed. How are you gonna do that? Sci-fi. I gotta bring you some sci-fi. Sounds like a good plan. Are you coming back tomorrow? I don't know. Maybe I can stop by in the evening. You know where to find me. I'll recognize the car. Bye, Ringo. All right. Hey, Christy! I've got some new VHS tapes. <sighs> Not this faggot. Hit new jam for you. Got drama, action, Spielberg, Hitchcock, Scorsese, you name it. Sci-fi. Oh, gee, Ringo. I haven't had the time. Alien, Star Wars, Terminator. That's what's big right now. You know where my customers are? They're going to Steve, the Betamax guy. And you know why? Because he's got sci-fi! You know, the Betamax is really taking off. Maybe we should consider investing. Do you have ET? <sighs> Sorry. Eighty-five bucks for the box. Customers today. Big Steve's holding a buy one get one free sale. That explains it. Wait, how do you know this? I bought one and got another free. Q? Yeah, it, Alien. God damn it. I lost my supplier. I can help you find him. No, he's not coming back. I did a bad thing. 
Did you punch him in the face? I punched him in the face. You've got to stop trying to solve all your problems by punching people in the face. Unless I'm around to watch. I'm basically done. There's no way I can bounce back from this. Big Steve's got all my customers. Big Steve couldn't get third prize in a wheelbarrow race. I don't know what that means. Anyway, I've got one last stop, and then after that, I'll skip town and find a new market. Well, we could get some dinner. Ringo only likes my sandwiches. I'll make a better sandwich, and some cookies. You can make cookies. I'm not homeless. I didn't oh, know shit. what kind of sandwich you liked, so I made all of them. Oh, wow. Wait, where are they? No, it's here. Oh, made them all. In one? Eat it. Uh, I'm not really feeling up to it. Do you want to go to the river? Maybe it'll help clear your head. My head's already clear. This was a dumb idea. Okay, well, what are you thinking? I'm thinking my business is ruined. Pompeii was ruined, and you know what? They bounced right back. No. That... No. A shooting star! But I'm ruined in this town. All I can do now is find a new one. Probably a smaller one. All the big ones must have their own shifty tape salesman by now. Well... I'll come with you. We can sell shifty tapes together. You're gonna come with me? But what about your flowers? No one wants to buy flowers except for on holidays. And I'm closed on holidays. You're very bad at business. Even worse than me. But now we can work together. Yeah. No. I'm a nobody. You should just stay here. I don't have a home. I don't have a job. I don't have friends. You can't go. You can't just go and leave Big Steve in charge. But wait. You're right. I probably shouldn't leave everybody with him. No, how would you live with yourself? He'd rack up prices, manipulate the market, implement a strict no refund policy? You're right, I gotta get back in the fight. You gotta kick his ass. No, but see, it was no use last time. It won't work. But, um, but, motivational speech. You have been a, a big distraction. You show up and I don't even know what. Are you confused about your feelings for me? No. I'm confused about what you're doing. Why are you hanging around me? Are you an undercover cop? No. Are you going to bust me for not having a license to sell? I'm just a warlock. I live in caves and enchant salamanders. You ruined my business. I did not ruin your business. Everything was fine until you showed up. That's a very bad string of logic. You said you were a warlock. I like to make believe. You're so useless. I should go. You should go. We all should go. This river's so useless. I can't believe- You know, can't we just sit in silence? You ran this town. You can take it back. You just gotta pick yourself up and get back in the horse. Son of a shit crack! You useless piece of trash. You couldn't do one simple thing. All you do is sit on your ass all day and make sandwiches. In fact, I'm taking your lunch. You and your fucking sandwiches. God damn it! And I'm taking your bike key. Enjoy Sigourney Weaver!
want your VCR. Here's your VCR. You really went to town on him. He's quite dead. Yes, he's quite dead. I'm sorry for the uh, way you acted last night. That's not how apologies work. I'm not apologizing. I just am here to make sure you're okay. You know, I think I'm gonna be all right. I brought some tapes back. Keep them. Yeah, well, I don't want them. They were bad. Oh, okay. I'll just restock them. You should probably leave town now. Yeah. I should probably come with you. Yeah. You didn't want me to before. Yeah, I just killed a man, so I need you to come with me. All right, well, as long as you're going to be okay. Come on. <laughs> Did you ever find a copy nope. of... Nope. It doesn't exist.